Okay, this is a fundamental boxing movement. It's called the jab. If you're jabbing or leading from the, from the hand here on the left hand side, it's known as an orthodox boxer. And if you're leading from the right hand, it's a southpaw. So that's a southpaw and that's an orthodox. The jab is a very fundamental part of boxing. If you can, if you can master the jab, your confidence will grow quicker than trying to assimilate all the other punches before you actually master the jab because that is key to getting that confidence right first. And let's face it, none of us like getting hit in the face, okay? Right, so how do we stop getting a smack in the face? Because, and boxing is intimidating. Boxing is a, is a frightening aspect sometimes. Okay, at the, looking at the jab, okay? Your body's half facing sideways, and it's very important where your head is. Yeah, your head has to be a little bit like this, as opposed to like this here. So a, a common mistake when you're boxing is having the guard down, but um, if you analyze it even a little bit more, the head is also in the wrong position here. You're quite vulnerable in your jaw, so um, a very clever boxer, if you can get the smack in your jaw here, you, you won't even go backwards, you'll go, you'll go straight down. If you um, look at the point of your chin to your jawbone here, and you get a, your fist and you make your fist really tight, and roughly an inch, half inch even, pull it back and just do that, you can see how much that can rock, especially the back of your head there. So the jaw is quite vulnerable. So we have to get the jaw down. And getting back to what I said earlier, none of us like getting a smack in the face, do we? And boxing, because it's a close range um, art, the chances of getting hit in the face, the law of averages, let's say, are quite high. You are going to get some smack. So what you're trying to do, you're trying to lessen, lessen it and increase the law of averages in your favour. Okay, so the jab is a very safe punch to use first. Because and when you're jabbing, it's, it's, it's far away from your body and it, it, it tests out the opponent. It's like a spy sussing out the other guy. And it doesn't compromise your position much from this position here. That's why it's key. That's why if you learn it at the beginning, it will enhance your confidence. Okay, so you can punch like this, with the fist like this, or you can punch with the fist like this, or a lot of people, they do half and half. They do la like this and like this. So the jab ends like this one here. The mechanics, starting from the snake here, body, body like this here, fist like this here, and the jaw, the jaw then is housed in between this shoulder and the covering arm. For example, if you're doing a jab, your jaw is like this, and if you're doing a cross, the cross, the jaw then goes on over here. I'll show you that again. Uh, so that's the start position. If you're doing a, a jab, the jaw is in here with the opposite arm covering. And if you do a cross, it's like this. Now the, the jaw now switches from there to there. It's like this. If you're doing a hook, like this, the jaw is then held in this one here. So every time that you're punching, your jaw should be housed in the shoulder of the punching arm. So if it's a jab, it's like this. If it's a hook, it's like this. And if it's a cross, it's like this. Now that's technically fantastic, but factor in the dynamics and factor in agility and your fitness and your fear levels and your coordination and try to understand the distance plus the other opponent. That's quite a hard thing to achieve in your own boxing, but that's technically, if you can get that right, it's good. Okay. So the stationary jab first. The stationary jab is like this. Here, like this. And that's the basic mechanics of it. It's very simple. That's it. Bang, bang. If you can get a bit of the hip movement in it at the same time, it would be fantastic. Because you can enhance the, the you can then get your body weight behind the jab as well. There, there, there. Okay? So I'll show you again from here. There, there. And if you relax your shoulders, if you relax your shoulders and practice like this, you can get it quite good like this here. And you can relax there. But practice on both sides, just to take the tension up the other side of your body as well. Practice on both sides. Okay, you will have a favorite side, but do practice on both sides. Just to even out, otherwise you'll have one, uh, the body will be a bit unsymmetrical there. Okay, 
standing position with the jab. There you go again. But you can also do the jab with your body weight behind it. Like this. I can also put, do, the, do the jab moving backwards. If you're moving forward, take the weight from the front foot by pushing with the hamstrings and the glute muscles from the, your backside and the glute, the glute muscle, hamstrings, calf and the quad. You're going to push with all this leg forward like this here. Try and maintain the short, same shoulder height. And another thing, if you can, try to maintain the contour of your body. So for example, if it's like this here, it's straight in like this. So look at the camera, it's from here, bang. Okay, so I'm here, bang. Don't even, don't even pull this arm back. Can you see? Like if you pull it back, you're telegraphing the, the shot. So watch it again. All right, if you can leave it from here, it would, it would be a little bit more superior because you're on the opponent before he or she realizes there's a jab coming. It's not easy to do because the tendency will be to get more power in the jab from here to do something like this. If you work on it, and if you persist, and if you persevere, you get a lot of power in your jab if you start, if you try to uh, practice it from here, and like this, from here, like this, from here, I'll come back to that in a second there, just, just finally one other, one other thing there, okay? As you're practicing the jab here, try to practice moving your body as well like this here. So as you're moving like this, you're moving your body like this here, and you're jabbing, that's it. So you can do a little bit of shadow boxing around the place like this here. One, two, bang, bang, bang. So I'm just bringing it from here all the time, and I'm not bringing it back that much. Okay. Next of all, you have to protect your hand, and you have to protect your wrist. Because when you strike something with your fist, if it's a right cross or a left jab, you have to look at the, the skeleton of your, of your arm. You've got a big fist, you've got a small wrist, and you've got a big, a, a big, a big forearm, okay, right? So you've got, you've, got, you've got eight little bones inside here in your wrist. And, and if you look, if this bends like this, when it hits the target, or it bends like this, you're going to do a little bit of damage here to your wrist. I notice Matt Jones is fantastic to be punching it like this, and I've, and I've done it myself a bit. But you have professional boxers hurting their hands and their wrists and straining their fingers if you don't protect yourself, okay? So, um, if you're in a professional fight, obviously you have it, you have it wrapped. But I'm, I'm going to just put on these gloves here, just, uh, just to protect my hands a little bit. While I do um, a little bit on this feet here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this. We're going to, do, uh, uh, we're going to tighten up here on, on the jab. So from here, head down, and you're going to punch like this, and back. So from here, two, three, four, and move on like this. From there, from there, back, back. Okay, so what I want you to try and, and, and remember is, if you can practice it from here, just from here, and straight up like this, bang. Without, without any movement in your body, from here, bang. It will be definitely weak when you start it off. It won't be as strong as this, okay? Another thing what you can do is, there's no harm in having a bit of fun with it, okay? No harm at all. Like, for example, like, do this dip, just to get a bit of tension on your hands, one, or maybe do a star jump or something like this here, just to get a bit of tension on your arms. Don't be so... Right? Don't be so tense if you hit me, right? It must be relaxed at the end of the day. So, um, just to show you on the right-hand side, so you're from here, you're going to jab like this. Yeah. Stationary jab is here, and then the mobile one is you're moving like this, and then you could also use this the, the flinch. For example, you could have had a flinch like this from here, and then throw nothing, and then from there, and then you can punch. So from here, one, and then two. And that's basically is a jab. 